Thank you, Mayor. Commissioners, have you had a chance to look at the agenda? Is there any amendments or objections or anything that we need to strike from the agenda? Or do we need to add anything for you? Mr. Chairman, we need to delete item number 12. Item number 12 is the Board of Education of Wilmington. Is that it? Yes, sir. Second that. Motion and a second to approve the agenda deleting item number 12. Any further discussion? Not all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes to be zero. Uh, approve the special meeting minutes for February 25th, public hearing minutes for February 25th, 2019. The public hearing minutes for February 26th, 2019. And the regular meeting minutes for February 26th, 2019. I think we can do all do this all one vote. Commissioners, have you had a chance to look at those minutes? Yeah. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? I'll, I'll make that motion that we approve the special meeting minutes for February 25th, 2019, public hearing minutes for February 25th, 2019, public hearing minutes for February 26th, <coughs> 2019, and the regular meeting minutes for February 26, 2019. So motion to approve all those minutes. Is there a second? Second motion. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? None. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Minutes are Nice visitors. I see a bunch of familiar faces from the last time we had a, a meeting over here. It's nice to see all of you come back and show some interest in in what we're doing today. Um, I'm not going to allow. I'm not going to go around asking everybody to stand up and you know and identify themselves. I think we did that last time, so I don't really see a whole lot of new faces. But you know, when I'm Thank everybody that took the time to come because this uh, this uh, commission is all about our constituents and stuff like that. And it's kind of nice to see some interest out there and, and things of this nature. So we'll proceed with the agenda. Public comment. Uh, we heard quite a bit of public. Uh, is there any public comment? that anybody would like to talk about that's not on the agenda. We're not going to talk about anything that's on the agenda. We're just talking about any public comment per se. Seeing none, we'll move to item number eight. Is there a motion by the commission to uh, to adopt resolution 2019-08? Mr. Chairman, I'll move that we adopt resolution 2019-08. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. So motion in the second. Discussion. Okay, if there's anybody out there in the audience that would like to address this particular resolution that did not speak last time, I would be glad to hear it. I don't want to hear any repeat of what we talked about last time and the things of this, shape, this nature. I think the commission is very well aware of what, where people stand and, and things of this nature. So if you would just go to the podium, state your name, and Limit yourself, please. Good morning, commissioners, board, and Colfax County residents. My name is Carrie Hobbs. What I would like for you to do this morning is to look at these people. Look at this standing room only, room full of people. Most of these people have a job. Most of them had some place they had to be this morning. Their, their family needed them there. They needed to be at the ranch. They needed to be at their job. They needed to be at school. They needed to be a lot of things. But this is very important to them. They love their country, their county. They love their constitution and they love their second amendment rights. Look at them. Remember them. Look at these faces and remember them. Because I assure you, they will remember every single one of you. My name is Nancy Cole, and I'm a retired teacher. My dad taught my sisters and I to shoot as teenagers. When I graduated from college, I taught 
rifle in Simran Sita. And I helped with the hunters' training classes in Raton. I was teaching at Raton High School when I, we had the first school shooting at Columbine in Denver. We went from fire drills to active shooter drills. Fear has no place in a school or at work. It grieves me to think what terror our children have suffered. What's your greatest fear? That your guns will be taken away? New Mexico already has required background checks for felons or for patients with severe mental disorders. Is that you? The new law, SB8, would expand background checks to gun shows online private sales. When Connecticut implemented this law, gun homicides went down 40%. A university poll and other polls all show that 90, over 90% 90 of Americans support background checks. We do need help with uh, law enforcement needs help with that paperwork, and I would volunteer. It would not apply to this SB-8. Exemptions are sales between law enforcement officers or immediate family members. It would not apply to antique firearms, emergency flares, or construction tools. It would not interfere with sharing guns at sporting events or youth gun clubs. The cost of a background check is $35. In order to teach in New Mexico or substitute, they must pay $75 for a background check and be fingerprinted. What is a life worth? One of the subjects I taught was domestic violence. Ma'am, could you please wrap it up in about 30 seconds? We have a lot of people. I know the most dangerous call a law enforcement officer can go on is domestic violence call. Uh, we need, we have federal laws, but New Mexico law would include a conviction for stalking or domestic violence or if they're under protective order, they need to surrender their guns within 48 hours. Women are five times more likely to be killed if their abuser owns a gun. Again, Connecticut enacted this law, and women shot by an intimate Ma'am, I need to move on to the next speaker. Went down 47%. Thank you. Hello, I'm Todd Tatum. Park of Mexico Residential Business Zone. I am here to support the Sheriff Baca and the Second Amendment Sanctuary Resolution for Colfax County that is being considered today. I, in support of that resolution, I would like to present to the Commission a copy of U Park's declaration to be a Second Amendment Sanctuary Community. This declaration has over 80% of the full-time residents' signatures attached by petition, and over 50% of the second homeowners and more are coming in. We got calls as we left. We believe our constitutional Second Amendment rights are being violated, and more proposed legislation violates the Fourth and Fifth Amendments. It is time to get off our butts. Be it Democrat, Republican, or Independent, and stand up for the Constitution of the United States as Americans and New Mexicans. Thank you. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, my name is Bill Daly. I live at 1150 Lincoln Street here at Red Home. I'm a transplant from Illinois. And if you've watched the weather lately, you know why. <laughs> my, my purpose here today is to talk about a mind. You're very fortunate because you are being able to deal with an issue that probably very, very few politicians in this nation get to deal with. Normally it's how many tires for a truck, toilet paper, or a Xerox machine. You've done a good job managing the money. It's a hard thing to do, but we're not here talking about money. We're talking about a constitution, <clears throat> me, a constitutional right. And there's a line when you talk about that. It was a line on July 4th, 1776 in Philadelphia. There was a line drawn at the Alamo by Colonel Travis when he drew the line and asked men to stand forward for liberty. And there's a line in this court, in this room today, in Little Colfax County, New Mexico. And we're talking about constitutional rights. Every veteran here raised his hand and swore to defend the Constitution of the United States. You raised your hand to defend the Constitution of the United States. At the present time, we're all on the same side of the line. The issue is whether you're going to take a step backward and tell all of us here and everyone else in the country, and your names will be on national news, that you backed up on your pledge. When you raise your hand to swear to defend the Constitution, we'll know today whether your left hand with the fingers crossed was behind your back. It's a serious, serious issue. I submit to you that Every veteran here understood the obligations when they raised their hand to defend this country. I would simply ask you to protect our Constitution as you swore to do when you raised your right hand. Thank you. No, you ma'am, ma'am, if I let you, I have to let everybody else. Next speaker. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Thank
us from corrupt government to ensure that we kept our freedom. We will all vehemently fight to keep that Second Amendment in place and to keep and bear arms. Thank you. Thank you. Last time, sir? I did. Okay, then now we're going on to the next one. Sir, I, just, sir, I told you if I let you, then I have to let everybody else. Next speaker. Next speaker. Is that it? I'm ready for the vote. You guys ready for the vote? Yeah, let's take the vote. Commissioner Fernandez. Yes. Commissioner Newton. Yes. Commissioner or Chairman Living. Yes. This resolution. 2019-8, declaring Kofex County to be a Second Amendment Sanctuary County has the lead us. Thank you. Uh, I, think the, I think the county manager has a couple of words and then we're going to recess and people want to leave, they're welcome to leave, they want to stay, they're welcome to stay, but we're going to allow that transition to take place. So what we're going to do is the county manager is going to give a couple of statements and then we're going to take a 10 minute recess. So thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to thank you for your diligence and your passion. Uh, any of you that know me know where I stand on this. Those of you that don't know me, uh, I'm a third generation rancher. You can make your own assumptions. <laughs> um, you know, I've seen, what the, I've seen what the legislature is doing. We have a lot of freshmen there. Um, things are being passed that, yes, we may question their constitutionality. But <coughs> guns, as we all know, are not the problem. They're not the enemy. Um, until this community and our state and our nation wakes up and realizes that mental health and drugs are the problem, guns will be attacked. That's my personal opinion. I'm not speaking for the commission. This is my personal opinion. I would challenge each and every one of you with the diligence that you showed here the last two weeks to go out and talk to your senators, talk to your neighbors, tell them what we need to do. We need to open more mental health facilities. We need halfway houses. We need treatment guardians. And we've got to fight the war on drugs. And they go hand in hand. I thank you again for your passion. I thank you for being here. Travel safe.